Nigeria's electricity transmission company is often referred to as the weakest link in the power chain. The country has an installed electricity generation capacity of 12,000 megawatts, but struggles to generate over 3,000. For about four years, Canadian electricity firm Manitoba Hydro had managed the transmission company on behalf of the government with no significant improvement. And low electricity output is widely blamed for discouraging investors and crippling existing businesses. The International Monetary Fund now says low electricity generation is among the factors fueling contraction in the economy here. Now the government wants to see a turnaround. It has since engaged local contractors to manage the transmission. Indeed, my management team has the support of the entire workforce of TCN, who shares the belief that only Nigerians can make Nigeria great, not foreign or expat rate, whose primary interest is the financial benefit deliverables from their engagement with this country. 11,500 megawatts may sound a substantial jump in Nigeria's wheeling capacity, but falls far lower than what Nigeria actually needs to effectively meet its energy requirements. By World Bank estimates, the country would require up to 200,000 megawatts of electricity for its 170 million population. Since the change in management, there's been concerns that funding from international partners will be withdrawn and contracts terminated. But authorities here are quick to allay those fears. Let me also reassure Nigerians and indeed international community. Our stakeholders and international funding agencies that the transmission company of Nigeria under the management contractors are that all contracts entered with TCN under the management contractors remain valid and enforced in line with contractual obligations agreed by all parties. Funding for the upgrade has been put at $7.5 billion, the bulk of which would come from concessionary loans and grants from international agencies. The federal government is expected to bring in $1.5 billion, while the proposed investor financing initiatives by TCN is expected to contribute about $2.6 billion. Kelechi Mekalam. CCTV, Abuja, Nigeria.